Good morning. We're here at the Lapooter Pass Trailhead at the very end of Long Draw Road, way down off 14 Highway near Cameron Pass. But actually, this hike is going to be within Rocky Mountain National Park. We're going to drop in from the north via the Pooter Pass. Starting off here at 10,175 feet in elevation. And the plan is to take the road down for a little over a mile, which is the Grand Ditch Road, I believe, where we're then going to split off and do the Little Yellowstone Trail down to a trail junction where we're going to head west into the Skeleton Gulch. And then we'll probably come back via the road. No point in doing that big down and up again. Probably just head back over the Grand Ditch Road and that'll take us right on back up to the trailhead. Starting at 8.45, it's just a little chilly out here. I believe we're looking at mid-30s. And literally, after, I don't know, 50 yards, we have met up with the Grand Ditch Road. So we're going to stay on this for about another mile until we get to the trail split. We're going to head off to the left onto the Little Yellowstone Trail. And just past the gated section of the road, you'll enter Rocky Mountain National Park. Are we paying the 25 bucks? Nope. Making our way down the road, just past this old barn or cabin or whatever that thing is. I'm gonna come up here to this split in the road. We're gonna stay to the right. Head over to the Never Summer Mountains. I'm not sure if that previous road was considered the Grand Ditch Road. But this is definitely it. The Grand Ditch Road parallels this Grand Ditch that you see over here to the right. I mean, I've seen a lot of ditches, but that one is grand. This is a beautiful shot of the Never Summer Mountain Range. And you can see all the way down to Red Mountain and the Green Knoll past it. Wow, that's beautiful. And it's even more pretty with the snow sprinkled about. All right, we're going to continue on. I'm telling just walking along this Grand Ditch Road is beautiful. There are so many great views from from up here. I believe Skeleton Gulch is going to be right up in here. That's the Skeleton Gulch. And when we come back, we're going to stay up here on the road and just follow it all the way back to the trailhead. Should be really nice. And after 30 minutes of hiking, we're up here to the trail split where we will take the left off the road and down the Little Yellowstone Trail right here. And the reason why we're going to stay on that road on the way back is because this trail it drops down roughly 800 feet and then we got to go back up and eventually we're gonna hike back up to this road again and we're gonna cross it later but that's in a few miles and first we're gonna do the little Yellowstone Trail it looks like the snow is here it took 10 days off and I come back and everything's got snow on it Passing over Lady Creek right here. At least that's what it says. I believe I've discovered why this is called Little Yellowstone. 
check it out. This is really pretty along here with all these just like rock formations sticking out. This is a cool spot right here. This has got to be what they're referring to when they say Little Yellowstone. I mean, this has got to be it. This dramatic overlook right here. This is awesome. And it was only an hour hike from the Pooter Pass Trailhead. And a real easy hike at that. I'm not kidding, there was probably like 10 feet of up. The rest was either flat or down. Really nice, real relaxing, easy trail. And so far I'm digging it. And we spent about 15, 20 minutes up there at that lookout, which I would, I believe was Little Yellowstone. And now we're continuing on. Check this out. Looks like they're doing some trail maintenance along here. This is nice. I've noticed a lot of trail updates within Rocky Mountain National Park in the last year or two. They're either getting work done on them or they've had work done on them recently. And looking back in the direction of the scenic overlook, it looks like we can finally see those rocks sticking up now. It's really cool. I'm digging this trail so far. It's really fun. Scenery changes a lot. You get some pretty dramatic views. And it has a really remote feel to it. I, you, you just know you're not going to see anybody else out here. And we should be approaching the trail junction any moment where we will then head straight back up to Grand Ditch Road. <laughs> It's okay, this is the scenic way. And it looks like we're at the lowest point here. And I've actually been on this part of the trail before. Back a couple years ago, we did Lulu City. It's one of my very, very first videos. It's not very good. I wouldn't recommend watching it. But we made it up to here. And then we were going to try and head up to Yellowstone. And it was like another mile, which would have been the sixth mile out. So we went ahead and turned around here, and I'm glad we did because that's that's a pretty like solid one mile up from here to the little Yellowstone lookout. I like the way we did it. We just dropped in on it from the north. Boom, super easy. One hour. And literally just past the bridge that goes over Lulu Creek you're gonna come to this cutoff here and this is where it could get a little confusing we want to stay to the right though and after only about 20 yards after that right hand turn you're gonna to get to this trail junction where you want to take a right again and head up to the Grand Ditch Road once we get up there, we're going to cross the Grand Ditch Road and head over into the Skeleton Gulch. I took 10 days off of hiking after the crazy, awesome summer that I had. And let me tell you, I'm feeling it right now. I can't believe how out of shape I feel after only 10 days. That sucks. No joke, though. 
soon as you split off to head back up to the Grand Ditch Road, this thing just starts going straight up. And it's real loose and rocky. I believe we're looking at about 8 hun vert gain. And uh, when you abbreviate your words like that, that means you're really cool. And you know what you're talking about. It doesn't mean it's because you're out of breath and you can't finish the full word. I'm really cool. And after some pretty steep uphill for that mile, we have reached a trail junction where we want to go this way, 0.1 miles back to the Grand Ditch Road. And the Grand Ditch Road should be just up here. It seems like an awfully long 0.1 miles. Just past the Sawmill Creek right here and take the bridge over and that's going to be the trail leading into Skeleton Gulch. And this is as bad as anything. This is as bad as the Devil's Causeway, the ledges on Longs, uh, and you've got absolutely nothing to grab onto. You better hope you don't lose your balance or else you're going to have a bad time. I don't know about this thing. This feels real janky. I would go down and around maybe. I don't know. Wow. Wow. And just past that rickety little narrow bridge. You want to hang a right? And then the next one has snow all over it to make it even more fun. We got about the same width here. I'd say maybe about 10, 12 inches. We're officially in Skeleton Gulch. And this is remote. You gotta hike quite a distance to get to this. No matter which way you come from. It's really pretty. There are no human footprints, only animal prints. That's all we've seen. Although this shows as an unmaintained trail on the map, it's actually pretty mild and relatively easy to follow. This is much better than I expected it to be. I thought it might get crazy back here. Yeah, that's a bear paw right there, guys. Yes, indeed. Big and round. Look at that. I'm saying bear paw. Luckily, they don't look fresh. So. Now I see why they call this Skeleton Gulch. Yep, it's Skeleton Gulch. All right, folks. We're at the end of the road here in the Skeleton Gulch. I believe we're a good half mile in and I don't think there's anything beyond this other than the campsite so I'm gonna go ahead and stop here take a nice little break which you're happy about <laughs> right here at this nice little peaceful creek crossing this looks like a really good spot we've been sitting up at our break spot for probably about 20 minutes and it's about 1240 right now so we're gonna start heading back
And based off time alone, that took us a good 15, 18 minutes to hike back to this point. So we were easily a half mile up. I would say over a half mile. But now, we need to navigate this crux. It's like a lava lamp, but not really. I'm glad that's not creepy or anything. Was well, that a license plate of someone that was freaking kidnapped and killed or something? Hey, just after I got done filming that last little clip, this dude sticks his head out. You need some help? This is like bearded, red, redneck looking guy. And I'm like, no man, just walking down the road. And he points at the sign and says private property. I go, I'm just walking down the road. I go, this road's private property? He goes, yeah, it is. I go, oh, I guess they're going to have to come arrest me then. Like, I don't really care. This road's in the Rocky Mountain National Park. It's not private property. He's just mad because I called his little wall creepy. He heard it, so he had to come out and give me some crap. Of all the roads that I've hiked on, I'd have to say this one is my all-time favorite. It's really pretty, it's really high up. You get some awesome views on this thing. And it's so nice to walk on. And that's where we just were, in the Skeleton Gulch. You can see big old Rich Dolphin sticking up to the right. TP Mountain. Wow, that's awesome right there. And then if I pan to the left, you can see where we were earlier. We were way down by that meadow and then came back up. Just down the hill here in front of us is that little Yellowstone lookout. You can see it way out there. You can kind of see the rocks sticking up like right here. And you see that big rock slide section across the way. Yeah, that's it right there. And that's kind of the route we went. We went way down and then back up to the road. If you didn't want to do that, you could stay up here on this road and you'll get some amazing views up here as well. This is awesome. That's the most blue sky we've seen all day. Someone might want to let those planes know that they missed a spot. Never mind, they got it. We're back to the little Yellowstone Trail cutoff. And one mile to the trailhead. That sounds good. We're almost back. Oh, right. We're about ready to grab this final little section of trail. Back to the La Poudre Pass trailhead. It's just past 2.30, and that took us two hours on the nose to get back. Yep, nice job. Boom, another one in the books. Yep. And that was a pretty fun hike. I thought it was pretty mellow. There wasn't a lot of up. It was pretty much just that one really bad section for about a mile. But I will admit, even though I did say that that Grand Ditch Road is my favorite road, it did get a little long there at the end. We're like, oh my gosh, when is this going to be over? But there are some amazing views from up there. Um, yeah, it was really cool. And we got to see a skeleton in Skeleton Gulch. Well, well, part of one. But that was really cool. So yeah, it was a great time. Another fun day. And the snow made it just a little bit more pretty.
So, hope you enjoyed it. Until the next one, y'all. Peace. Peace.